whiskeys on the menu today, and today we are going to whip up some whiskey blondies. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees, and I've greased an 8x9 uh, baking pan. So, what I'm going to do right now, I've got a cup and a half of flour. To that I'm adding one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to mix this up. Now I want to make sure to get this all mixed in together because if it's mixed in together correctly, you don't have to worry about it not uh, rising correctly. So, I'll set that aside. Now, in my bowl, in my mixer, I have three-fourths of a cup of butter. And this is softened. To that, I'm going to add sugar, which is one cup of sugar, and an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm going to lock that down and turn it on. While that's mixing, we're going to make sure to scrape it down every once in a while to make sure that everything gets mixed up. To that, I'm adding two eggs, once again, make sure that you scrape the bowl to make sure that everything gets mixed in well. I have one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to lower the speed so that I can add my flour mixture. We're going to mix this until it is just combined, so I'm keeping an eye out on this. Once it's just combined, I'm going to set everything off to the side real quick and bring in our last two ingredients for this step. I've got three tablespoons of whiskey and three tablespoons of milk. Give that a quick whisk. I'm going to pour our batter into our greased pan. Let me get all of this off. Once we've scraped everything, I'm going to take our batter and pour it into my grease eight, and I said eight by nine, but it's actually an eight by eight baking pan. Spreading the, spreading the batter out nice and evenly. At home, take more time with this. Make sure it's a nice even layer. Then what you'll do is you'll put it into your oven and you'll bake it at 350 degrees until a cake tester placed into the center of it comes out clean. Once your blondies are baked, remove them from the oven. I'm going to set these aside. In my saucepan, I have one cup of sugar, one tablespoon of butter, to which I'm going to add half a cup of whiskey. I'm going to take this to the oven and heat it up just to melt the sugar. I want the sugar completely dissolved, but I don't want to bring it to a boil. I'll be right back. After making sure that the sugar was completely dissolved, 
I'm going to pour off about a quarter of a cup or three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons, and reserve that. So that's our reserve. With the rest of this drizzle, all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it over the top of our blondies. Let that soak in, and you'll go slow. Let that soak in, and you'll have a wonderful tasting blondie. What we're going to do next is make some icing for it. Alright, one final stage left, and that's the icing of our cake. It's nice and cool now. So, I'm going to take one and a half cups of softened butter, to which I'm going to add uh, three cups of powdered sugar. Slowly and carefully add that. Since this is television, I will brush it just a bit. Ah, uh, the internet's a wonderful thing. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and two tablespoons of whiskey. We're going to mix that up well so it becomes nice and smooth. If needed, you can always add a, a tablespoon at a time of, I'm using almond milk because that's what I drink, but you could use heavy cream if you'd like to make it the right consistency. I think mine is the right consistency right now. So, I'm just going to raise it up. Scrape my beater. Or scrape my paddle, I should say. And then, spread my, my frosting over my blondie. I don't know if anybody under the age of 21 should be eating these blondies. The alcohol did not cook out of the blondie. So we have the alcohol on the syrup and then the alcohol in the frosting. I'm just going to spread that out nice and even. I want a thick layer of frosting over the top. Now the fun. Remember that reserved three tablespoons of syrup? Well, I'm going to cheat just a bit. You can pour it right out, but I know how, I know I'm a little bit clumsy with these things. And I'm going to drizzle it down over top of my icing. So we have our blondies topped off with our drizzle. You can use whatever kind of whiskey you like, it's up to you. You just decide what you want to do with it. As with just about any of my recipes, you can fool around with this. Make it into your own. And there you have a whiskey blondie. If you enjoyed this recipe, please hit like. Also, you can subscribe to my channel and that would give you a chance to see recipes like this and many others. In the description below, there's a link to my blog which has this recipe and many other recipes, including the recipe for vanilla. If you have any comments or suggestions or ideas that you'd like to give me, I'd love to hear for you, from you. Leave them in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching and welcome home.